I love learning the names of people's pets when I'm painting them. First of all, if your cat is named after a food, top-notch, tier one of my favorite names. Meatball, oatmeal, chocolate chip, love them all. Secondly, if your cat is named a human name, like a very human name, like perhaps Kevin or Kyle, that shit cracks me up. I think it is so funny. And this cat, no exception. This cat's name is Dwight is the perfect cat. So if you're a person with a fun name for your pet, please let me know in the comments. Look at freaking Dwight. Look at him. Also, this uh, pet, I used two different pictures because one was really light, one was filtered, so I kind of mashed them together and these are both of the pictures that I used and how he turned out. It's been a hot minute since I painted a pet that was not a cat or a dog. So this little guy's name is Butters, and it's a yellow lizard with like brown spots, like a yellowy green color. The photo that I referenced for this was like slightly more green, so that is kind of how the painting ended up turning out. But when it comes to reptiles, I am entirely clueless. I have no idea what kind of lizard this is. I like tried to Google yellow and brown lizards and it came up with nothing. I got, I got nothing. I got zero answers because I have no clue. But I love how this lizard turned out. So there's the photo that I referenced and here is how it came out. So again, if this was your order, I'm so sorry. I do not know what kind of lizard this is, but they're so stinking cute and I kind of want a couple of them. And this is just a little before and after. I hope this customer loves it. All right, we're back at it, friends. And today I'm going to be painting a one-eyed kitty cat and a dog and a set of earrings for you. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I can do any feature that an animal has. Absolutely any feature. Each of these pieces is custom made from a picture that this customer sent me. And I think that this set turned out really nice. It's been a while since I've had a mismatch pair that was actually two separate animals too. Usually I have two different dogs or two different cats. So I was happy to get a set of a cat and a dog in one pair of earrings. This kitty cat's name is Uno. This dog's name is Sansa, which I'm assuming is a Game of Thrones reference, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Either way, it's a great name. And also a really good example of what a black, an all-black animal might look like. So the way that I get the form of any black animal is through all of their highlights. So the parts of their fur that reflect the light are what give them their form. And here is the final of what this set looks like. I love how they turned out. Be sure to subscribe on my website. Even though a lot of the videos that you see are only cats and dogs, I am willing to make whatever orders come through. So here's an example of a guinea pig set. I will add this to my playlist of non-cats or dogs, so if you go to the playlist you can see all the other animals that I've done as well. Honestly, anything that changes up from the cats or the dogs is a welcome interruption. Not only are they fun for me to just branch out and do something different, but a lot of the time they're also a challenge for me, and I appreciate that. It only makes me better at my craft. Fun fact, my family had guinea pigs when I was really little, like I want to say I was five or so, and I do not remember their names, and I really don't remember too much about them. But what I do remember is that we had a kiddie pool, like a plastic kiddie pool in our basement filled with their bedding, and they would chase each other around in a circle all the way around this little kiddie pool 
for hours on end. I wish I could remember their names, but I really just do not because I was so young. I'm sure if I asked my parents or my older brothers that they would remember because I do know we did have them for quite some time. Anyways, the second little guinea pig here didn't have any ears, which was so cute. And here, my friends, is how these guinea pigs turned out. I think they're so stinking cute and I would definitely wear these.